Hi friends and family! Saturday again. Um, as you can see, I'm in a much better mood than I have been in the past two weeks. Um, I... Where should I start? Um, so in this week, I... I don't know if I should say lost? Maybe not lost. I... Yeah, I lost. Two of my tutoring students. Um, one was the Tuesday evening students I meet. It's a college girl and her mom and dad. And we would meet and have dinner and talk for two hours. Um, but she... School is starting up again um, on Monday. And she got accepted into a Samsung internship program. So she's going to be really busy this term. So she said she didn't have time to meet. And then my other student was the friend from church. And she's just really busy with work. So I had to cancel. Um, which I'm not sure if I should take these as signs that my time in Korea is ending. Or just that I need to make time for new and better things in my life here. Um, trying to be pretty open about whatever happens. I was offered a job with a friend from church. Like, thank goodness for church. They're amazing. They take care of me so well. Um, uh, this friend, he owns a recording studio and they do lots of things. They do recording for Christian artists and they make some, I guess, sort of like commercials ads for different companies um, and they also do some IT work and they need someone who is good enough at English that they can do business English fluently um, obviously I know English so I'm alright there because um, they, they need to do some work I don't know, related to creating apps and English things, they get them submitted, they submit them to a company in America um, for approval and when they get their replies they don't really understand why or what anything means um, and they're going on a business trip to Boston um, sometime within this next year so they need someone who speaks English um, and like I said, my friend wants me to work there, and I would love to work with his company, it sounds really interesting, and it'd be really nice. But, um, getting a visa is being really frustrating. I'm really mad with the Korean government, um, <laughs> just because they won't give me a visa. Um, basically, there are a lot of different work visas, but in order to get this this one visa that I think would be the basic one that I would be able to get, the E7, um, when I called to ask about it to figure out what paperwork the company would need to do, they said that the job needed to be related to my major and I needed at least one year of experience. Um, since my job is, my major was human resource, or not human resource, human services, social welfare, um, and the only work experience I have is teaching English. I'm not really sure how that's going to work out. But um, my friend, he seems pretty optimistic about it. Um, so we're going to go on Tuesday in person and explain the situation and see if there's any way that we can do this. Um, if that doesn't work, then I guess there's always the E6 visa. E6 is coming to Korea as an entertainer, um, and it's actually really easy to get. It's probably the easiest visa to get, um, but a lot of foreigners call it the prostitute visa. Not because you have to be a prostitute or you sell yourself or anything, but um, a lot of the people who get this visa, they come to Korea. There are a lot of Russian girls and Philippine girls, and they come here with this visa and on the visa they're contracted as dancers or singers yeah and they work in room salons which are basically the singing rooms where you they're a little bit more expensive and you drink lots and there are girls that come in and yeah they're with you and you you know you do things um pretty gross 
and honestly I have a really big problem with it I for basic reasons obviously but I think that visa and there's another one I think it's F F10 or something it's basically coming to Korea for the purpose of marrying a Korean um, basically mail order brides and these two visas the companies that offer them to people or sponsor these girls they it's for me it's really it's just human trafficking it's legal human trafficking and I think it's really terrible um, so that makes me angry another reason to be angry with the government here but as a foreigner I can't do anything um, yeah really really frustrating uh, bandit is coming over to approach the camera um, yeah uh, another sad thing with the government here um, so I'm sure well I don't know if maybe some of you might have seen that there was a really big um, accident in was it April? March or April? I think it was March but it might have been April I'm not really sure um, it was Sewa Ho, um, it's, there was a really big ferry that um, capsized and there was a school that was going on a field trip on the ferry and like 300 students died. Um, uh, it was a very big problem. Um, huge accident. The problem was because the company that owned the ferry wasn't um, they weren't really following the rules and safety regulations because they wanted to get a bigger profit. Um, so ha problems happened, boat capsized, um, very terrible. And the parents of these children are very obviously upset. Um, and there's one father who he wants, to, they want um, a special law passed. I don't know what the law is for. I just know that they just keep reading. It just keeps reading a special law. Um, and there's one father who hasn't eaten in 40 days um, because he's protesting the. Well, I don't know if you should say protesting. He's trying to get the government to approve this law. Um, so he's been sitting at Kwanglamun, which is like close to the city hall and also close to the Blue Palace where the president lives um, and like I said he hasn't eaten in 40 days and this weekend he had to be taken to the hospital because he was so weak um, it's really really sad and I feel like the government needs to do something I don't know what they need to do I don't know if they need to pass the law because I don't know what it is I don't I don't know anything about it but they can't just let this guy starve himself to death, so I feel like they need to be doing more to get it solved, and it seems like the president is just kind of ignoring it. Um, she's lost a lot of popularity. I honestly don't think she was very popular to begin with. Um, everyone that I talked with, uh, when she was elected, nobody that I talked with was supportive of her. So they all, like for a week, they just kept saying, I don't understand how she won. It had to be rigged. There's no way she could have won. She's not popular enough. She, whatever, whatever. Um, but she was elected, and then she was popular. But now after Sewa Ho, she lost a lot of popularity. Um, which, I mean, I, I think it was a big tragedy, but I don't really understand how much of the responsibility the government needs to have because it's not like it was the government's doing it but I don't know I'm just a foreigner I don't get to know these things um, and even if I give my opinion a lot of Koreans would just say hey you're a foreigner you don't know what you're talking about so I just I usually keep my opinions to myself because I don't like people getting angry with me for saying what I think and it happens way too often anytime I point out issues here in Korea that I think are issues, the Koreans that I'm talking with just tell me, well, you don't understand, you're American, you think differently than we do. I think, 
Well, it's possible that I think differently. Well, it's pretty much clear that I think differently than you, but that doesn't mean that the way I think is wrong or not worthy of being listened to. But that's usually the response I get. But I've adjusted to it. I tend to keep my mouth shut. Um, I probably shouldn't be saying all this in this video because I do know that some of my Korean friends watch it and they understand English enough to know what I'm talking about. So maybe they'll be angry with me. Sorry. I really don't want to make people angry. I just... I don't know. Um, yeah. So... This coming week is the last week of Korean class. Um, which is kind of sad, but also exciting. Like, I'm so ready to be done. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna pass. I haven't done any of the writing homework since midterms. Um, I just... I just lost my drive to do it with the stress of looking for a job and then I didn't go to school for a week after I didn't get that job with the immi not immigration with the tourism office so yeah sad sad this week I started reading the fifth book of the Left Behind series um, it's interesting it's about the end times, the tribulation after the rapture happens. Um, it's kind of interesting, kind of scary, kind of fanciful. Mm. One good thing, every time I read it I just think, well oh, man, it's good I'm gonna be gone. I, I would not want to be alive at that time. Um, this week? Oh, right. Back to graduation. So, this week's our last week. Finals are Wednesday and Thursday. And then on Friday we have the closing ceremony. And at the closing ceremony, level 6 students who pass wear hanbok with the traditional Korean clothing. Um, but last year, there were so few students in level 6, so everyone wore hanbok. And then this term... I shouldn't say last year. Last term that happened. This term, um, our class size is huge, but enough of us wanted to wear a hanbok even though we are pretty positive we won't pass. But there are, the school only has 10 female hanbok and 10 of the male hanbok. Um, I didn't want to risk not getting one, so I asked around in my friends, um, friends at church and friends wherever, and the wife of the friend who wants to offer me a job said that I could borrow her hanbok if it fits so I'll find out tomorrow and yeah I just feel like they are such a great blessing to me so fantastic that they're always wanting to help out and assist me in any way that they can um, the church has done a lot of praying for me lately like dealing with this solution to however I'm gonna be able to stay in Korea um, it's just really helped me to see how much they love me and how much of my family they've become. Um, they're really, really great. I've been going there for almost a year now. I'd say nine months. It'll be a year in November. So that would be nine months, right? Yeah, something like that. Um, and I just, I'm so blessed. So happy that they're there for me. And that they continue to pray for me and there would be a good solution to this problem and that God's plan for me would still be in Korea. Um, yeah. If his plan's not for me here, then I also pray that I would just be accepting of that. Like, I really love it here and I don't want to leave, despite what I was saying earlier in the video about the Korean government having problems, that's, that's just normal. Every country's government has problems. Mm. But I, I really love it here, and I want to make it my life. So, hopefully, that's how things happen. Um, I don't really have anything else to say, and this video is longer than normal. So, I'm going to go, and I will see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. Bye!